Hello everyone, we are here today to do a full resort tour of Disney's Riviera Resort. This is Disney's newest resort here on property and we absolutely love it, can't wait to show it to you. We're going to show you where the pool locations are, the amazing dining options, and of course, access to the Skyliner. And this is a Disney Vacation Club resort, so it's a deluxe level resort. You can book this if you're a Disney Vacation Club member using points, and you can also pay to book a room through Disney directly if you are not a Disney Vacation Club member. They have lots of different room categories here. They have the deluxe studios, one bedroom, two bedroom, and three bedroom villas. And they also have a new room category called the Tower Studio. Tower Studio only sleeps up to two people. It's a very small room, but it's a little bit cheaper than the deluxe studios are. And if you'd like to see any of those rooms, we do have room tours of each of them over on our channel and linked down in the description below. So let's go see. So coming up to the entrance here, of course we have the covered porta cashier over here where you can drop off. There's also valet parking available. It's currently $33 a day for valet parking. And Bell Services is also available to assist you with your luggage when you come up here. We've got the Riviera logo down there in the brickwork. And then we have the Magical Express pickup and drop off right over there. You can see the bus just pulled up now. So that's right here at the front of the resort, whether you're dropping off from the airport or you're waiting for the bus back to the airport that's there. We also have a giant hidden Mickey right up above our heads. Can't really tell until you get down below it, but there's a huge hidden Mickey up there. And you'll find there are several hidden Mickeys throughout Riviera Resort as we wander through here. And in this covered walkway over here to my right, this actually takes you all the way down to the bus stop. So when you're heading to the buses to go to the parks, Magic Kingdom, Animal Kingdom, or Disney Springs, or the water parks, it is covered all the way down and the bus stops are down there at the end. You can see them off in the distance. So those are the bus stops to go to those parks and Disney Springs. And then of course, if you're going to Hollywood Studios or Epcot, you have access to the Skyliner, which we'll show you in just a few minutes. And over here on the left before the entrance, we actually have a little seating area. They have several of these around the resort, just tucked off in the corners, little places to sit and enjoy the atmosphere here. Through these doors, we're here in the main lobby. It isn't a huge grand entrance like some of the other resorts are, but it is a really pretty lobby with the lights up there in the ceiling. Over there on the right is where you'll find first bell services. You can have them take your bags and hold them for you if you're waiting on your room to be ready or if you're checking out and wanna to go to the parks for the day. They also will deliver those to the room for you once your room is available. The front desk is over there on that wall, but they do have front desk cast members walking around with iPads to help you check in or help you with any issues you may have anywhere here in the main lobby so they can come to you. That hallway there leads to the west wing of the resort. Down in the west wing is where you're going to find the tower studios. And of course, half of the rooms at the resort are on that side. And then the east wing is on the opposite side. We'll find that hallway here in just a moment. This staircase takes us down to the main ground floor where all of the restaurants and pools and things like that are. We're gonna head down there via elevator in just a few minutes after we go and check out a few more things. Across the lobby on the left when you first come in, we have the boutique, the gift shop here at Riviera. Hello. So in here we have a selection of Riviera merchandise, of course. I actually have quite a bit of Riviera branded merchandise here. Between the hats and the robes and the mugs and the shirts. Lots of Riviera stuff. And they also have, of course, your typical Disney merchandise, Disney World merchandise. The Minnie Mouse. Got the different parks merchandise there kids shirts, kids hats, you've got swimwear, board games, and this is a Disney Vacation Club resort, and we do have kitchens in the one bedroom and larger villas. So they do have a little pantry area right over here, and there's some food items, of course a little first aid and toiletry station here, and then the cooler section which has some drinks and things, but it also has frozen food like frozen waffles, frozen pizza, things like that. Across the shop here, we have the Disney Vacation Club member merchandise. 
and also some Skyliner merchandise because again this is a Skyliner resort and member merchandise changes throughout the year as they come out with different things but they've got several of the different member items over here and then the one other thing here in the gift shop you need to see is the artwork so this artwork is all scattered throughout the resort in the rooms and also in the hallways and any of the artwork you see here at Disney's Riviera Resort can be purchased right here. So for example, we may see this one in a little while in the hallway as we're walking down, or if we click here, you can check out the art from the rooms, like the interior with cats. Thank you. Have a great day. You too. As we continue through the lobby here, over on the left is Le Petit Café. In the morning, this is a coffee bar. They have lots of different coffee drinks and they have pastries and things like that. And then in the evening, around four o'clock, they switch over to a wine bar and they have more savory treats. And we'll show you a couple of those treats from the cafe around the other side. You can see a couple of those treats right here. And the banana bread is absolutely amazing. One of our favorite things here. Next door to the cafe here is the Voyager's Lounge. Now here in the Voyager's Lounge, they have the TV over there on the wall. They sometimes turn on animated Disney shows for the kids over there with no audio. So you have still some peace and quiet in here. It is decorated like a library with books all around and those are themed to the Riviera as well with lots of different languages represented. They have outlets here on the table as well as in the wall all around. So if you're doing any kind of work here, you need to plug up your computer, or your phone, it's a great place for that. And make sure you take some time to look in these little glass display cases because they have some really great Disney artifacts in there, including some that are from the Disney archives. Some are replicas like that hat that is a replica of Walt's hat he wore when he toured over in Europe and some original items from the Walt Disney Family Museum and also the archives like these photographs over here. Now out here in the hallway we have a beautiful tribute to Walt with these photos along the wall. And some of these photos have never been released to the public. They were all in the archives and they brought them out just for the opening of Riviera here. So it's great to see some of those pictures from Walt's time traveling over in Europe. Over here on the left, we have the restrooms. These are the closest restrooms to the lobby. So if you're looking for those, they're right over here past the Voyager's Lounge have a beautiful painting of Cinderella Castle here. And just like all the other artwork, it is available there in the gift shop in that machine that we showed you a little while ago. Heading toward the east elevators here, just past the elevator bank in the hallway, there is a Chase ATM. So if you're looking for the ATM, it's right there past the elevator bank. Now these east elevators do go all the way up to the 10th floor. If you go to the west side of the building, it does not go that high because they don't have a 10th floor over there. The 10th floor is where we're gonna to find Topolino's Terrace. Here on the 10th floor, you can see we have a beautiful view down over the quiet pool on this side and we have an even better view from the other side. This is Topolino's Terrace. This is the table service restaurant here at Disney's Riviera Resort. It's open for breakfast and dinner. And you can see it has the Mickey Mouse inspiration there in the sign because it is Topolino, which is the name in Italian for Mickey Mouse. So Topolino's Terrace is Mickey's restaurant. They do have characters in here for breakfast and we're hoping to be able to see them here in just a minute. Over on the left when we come in, they do have a waiting area if you're waiting for your table. And they also have restrooms on the far end over there. And then these coolers have some wine in them. And they also have pasta. This is real fresh pasta. All the pasta they have here for dinner is made in-house. So they have that pasta there in the cooler as part of the decorations, but also it is functional because they do serve the pasta they make here. So 
So this restaurant, again, is table service, but they also have a lounge here over on the right. This is a first come, first serve lounge for dinner in the evenings. They do have a limited menu compared to the table service restaurant. And of course they have a full bar here as well. And you can see we have the characters here that are distanced while they're walking around the restaurant, letting you get selfies and pictures with them. We're gonna head out on the terrace of Topolino's Terrace. And we can see the view here is absolutely amazing we have such a huge line of sight up here we can see so far in the distance that is tower of terror in the distance you can see hollywood studios and you can see the spires of galaxy's edge black spire outpost on the left this is a great place to watch fireworks because you have hollywood studios there on the left you have animal kingdom way off in the distance you can see everest and the tree of life there we have epcot just over to the right and we can see fireworks from those locations when they have them which is awesome and of course this terrace does wrap around we have a view here from this end of the main pool down there as well as the lake here barefoot bay and you can see out here on the terrace they do have seating as well as a bar over there I've also got to stop real quick and just point out the hidden Mickeys in the railing. We have so many little hidden Mickeys around this resort. It's great to see them all over Riviera. So we're going to head down to the fourth floor because here on the fourth floor on the east side is where you'll find the laundry room. Now out here when we exit the elevator on the fourth floor, I've got to stop and point this out in the carpet they actually have characters in the detailing here we have donald we have goofy we have pluto we have of course mickey and we have Minnie. so not just hidden mickeys here at riviera but all of the fab five hidden here as well really cool little detail you can see from the signage here we are going to go left to the laundry it is just around the corner and just before the laundry here, we do have the ice and vending area. They have these on each floor in both the east and west wings. So you have access to the ice and you also have a vending machine that takes credit cards. It takes Apple Pay, it takes Google Pay, and it also, of course, takes cash and change. So you've got those vending machines available to you on all the floors, basically near every room. And this is the laundry room here at Riviera. For anyone staying in a studio or a tower studio, you're gonna have access to laundry here in this room. They do have the detergent in the vending machine for a dollar a box, but the washers and the dryers are complimentary with your room. They've got six dryers and they have three washers. And of course they have a couple of baskets and rolling parts in here for you. And then if you would like to know when your laundry is going to be done or if they have available machines, you can use the QR code they have over there on the machines or you can go to laundryview.com slash Disney World and select your resort and that will show you which machines are in use and which machines are not. And as we exit the elevator bank here, you'll see we are right by the courtyard that we could see from up there in the lobby over on the left is our quick service primo piatto we're gonna head down there and check it out we also have public restrooms available here on the left so here is primo piatto they are requesting that everyone mobile order unless of course you have an allergy or need to pay cash they have a pastry case over here that has some delicious looking pastries several of which are the same as upstairs at Le Petit Cafe and they have an espresso machine so they can make some coffee drinks down here. They also have some delicious quick service meals. This is an excellent choice for quick service breakfast, lunch, or dinner. You can see they have those blueberry lemon pancakes. Those are my personal favorite on the breakfast menu. They also have the drink station here with the Coke freestyle machine. You are able to get those refillable resort mugs and get as many refills as you like during your stay. However, the cast members will get those drinks for you and give them to you in a paper cup so they're not handling your refillable mug for sanitary reasons. And 
as you order your food it is bagged up and put here for you to pick up from that mobile order or if you had to order at the counter and then you can sit in here and eat there are some tables available and then we're going to exit out the doors over here now, exiting primo piatto you can see we are facing directly to the main pool here over on the left from the pool is bar riva Bar Riva is, of course, a bar, but they also have food. You can do quick service food here that you can get to go. You can also sit down and order and have a server come to the table, and they have a great menu here. Lots of different options as far as sandwiches and appetizers, things like that. They do open at 11 a.m. and are open until 10 p.m., so pretty much all day long after breakfast. There are also restrooms just around the corner here. These are going to be the most convenient restrooms to the main pool and the splash area. And if we continue walking down this path, we're not going to go all the way over there. But you can see that beach area over there in the distance. They have some little cabanas out there. They have some beach chairs. That is all open and available to the guests here at Disney's Riviera Resort. This here on the left is the splash area Cebu play it is for kids under 48 inches we'll head inside and check it out and you can see we have Hyacinth and Pippo down here lots of fountains you've got the elephant up on top you get the water cannons over here of course you have a small water slide for the kids as well just a great little splash area Out here is the main pool. Of course, they have all the pool chairs distanced in groups so everyone can spread out here on the pool deck. We also have the hot tub over here. There are other hot tubs at the quiet pool, but this is the only one over here by the feature pool. You can see the feature pool is a good size. It also has a zero entry area right over there as well as a few different sets of stairs around the pool. And it does have a water slide as well. If we look over here on the left, comes out right there in the pool and it's actually a pretty good water slide wrapping around from the tower up there and of course we do have pool towels and life jackets available at this pool and there will also be towels and life jackets available at the quiet pool and we'll head over that way and see them in just a second if you would like to go for a run while you're staying here at Riviera Resort you can follow this path all the way around the bay here. It goes over to Caribbean Beach Resort, and that will loop all the way around over on the far side of Caribbean Beach and bring you back here to Riviera on this path. And so they use that when they're having fun runs here at the resort, and you also can use it if you're just going out for a run or a walk on your own. Now here on the back side of the pool, this green area, you can see the speakers mounted to the wall. This is the movie lawn. This is where they will have the movie under the stars when those are playing. Make sure you check the activity schedule when you check in to see what nights they're playing and what movies they're playing. They bring out the giant screen over here. They have the chairs. And of course you can also sit on the lawn there. And over here on the left is the fire pit where they would typically have s'mores and marshmallow roasting when they were doing that. Of course, those are not happening right now but this is the location for those when they do them. Here in the courtyard area, the activities recreation cast does sometimes come out here and have activities depending on the weather. They also have a place for bocce ball over here on the right. You can get those balls from the recreation pass. The Riviera Resort logo on the ground there and then that patio right there is the chess board they have set up. They do have giant chess pieces and those are currently unavailable. Just to help you get your bearings right through that door is the bank of elevators. We came down just a minute ago and the door that we went in to go over to Primo Piatto, the quick service. We're going to go in these doors now and check out the eventi room. So the eventi room is right now kind of a temporary community hall here at Riviera. They have all kinds of activities, both free and paid here. 
can see we've got some seasonal Valentine's Day activities going on. We've got a scavenger hunt going. You can decorate wine glasses. You can paint your own animation cells. Lots of different activities, coloring tote bags there. And of course they have coloring sheets for the kids and some other free activities as well as some additional paid activities. You can always talk to the cast members here to find out what's available while you're staying here and which ones are free and which ones are paid. And now we are back at the staircase that takes us up to the main lobby. But down below the staircase here, you will find the airline resort luggage check-in. And this is currently unavailable but when they have it, this is where you can come to drop off your luggage for participating airlines to have it checked and sent to the airport so you don't have to take it with you. So now we're back outside by the courtyard area. That is the quiet pool over there. We're going to head that direction. But first, we have the fitness center here on the right. Of course, you do need a magic band to access this. So we're going to head on inside the fitness center and check it out. It's not huge, but then again, it's not a huge resort. They do have water available over here with cups for you. They have some free weights. They also have a few machines as well as the treadmills and ellipticals and the one bike over there. So not a huge, huge fitness center. Now, if you're looking for the restrooms and showers, they're not in the fitness center. They're actually right down here, down this corridor. And they do have a shower in each of the men's and ladies' restrooms. And these are also very conveniently located next to the quiet pool. So here at the quiet pool, just like the main pool, you have towels available. You also have those life jackets for the kids if needed. This pool has a decent amount of space it's not huge but it is much quieter over here than it is at the main pool because they don't have any of the music from the DJs or anything like that the recreation cast don't play activities out here it's just a quieter area for everyone we also do have a hot tub over there in the corner just like the one at the main pool and you can see just like the main pool the chairs have been set up in groups of three or four and they are distance from each other. One thing to keep in mind is that this pool does not have a lifeguard on duty because it is the quiet pool. So as we exit the pool here, we can either go around the building over on the left to get to the Skyliner, or we'd prefer to go this way through the building. And this will take us directly to the Skyliner with the beautiful fountains there in the middle and the tile mosaics that go all the way over the archway here. You can see all the little individual tiles in there. Unbelievable the artistry and the amount of work that had to go into these. Of course this one is Rapunzel themed with all the floating lanterns going from Corona over to Rapunzel's tower on the other side. And there are a few hidden Mickeys in these mosaics as well. But I'll let you look for those when you come and visit for yourself. And then this mosaic on this side is Peter Pan giving us Big Ben there. And of course, all the trail of pixie dust as they fly around all the way over. And you'll see the kids up there, the darling children with Peter and Tinkerbell as they're heading off to Neverland. Absolutely beautiful works of art here. Now, if you're looking to take the Skyliner to Epcot or to Hollywood Studios, you're at the right place. I'm going to go through right here to show you how to get to the Hollywood Studios line, and then we're going to head over to show you the Epcot line. So if you'd like to go to Hollywood Studios, you're going to go up this ramp right here, get on the Skyliner, and take it all the way over to Caribbean Beach at the hub where you'll change over to the Hollywood Studios line on the Skyliner. But if you're going to Epcot, you're gonna go around here on this walkway. You're going to have to go in on this side because this is not a full station where everything stops. It is just a pass-through station. Not every car that comes here is empty. They only hold every so many cars 
for the guests here at Riviera. So you may have to wait just a little longer here than you would if you were at the main hub, but typically the line is also a lot shorter. And then the Epcot line will take you from here, that direction, all the way directly to Epcot. And of course, across the water there is Caribbean Beach. If you'd like to see our tour of Disney's Caribbean Beach Resort, there is a link to that up above in the top right-hand corner and also down in the description below. Thank you for joining us for that tour of Disney's Riviera Resort. We hope you enjoyed it. If you did, comment below with your favorite part and let us know if you've stayed here before. And make sure you hit that like button while you're down there and the subscribe button so you can get notified whenever we post new videos at the different Walt Disney World resorts and also the other Disney resorts around the world. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, we're here with the ears.